Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Um, yeah, we're coming down at the moment in the market in general with XRP. Not really a change to the previous video. We have come down into the target area, into the support area for this wave two here. For anybody who missed the previous video, um, my assumption currently is that we have finished a larger ABCDE Elliott wave triangle here on the, I think it was the 2nd or the 3rd of November um, in a wave E, yeah, so this was the last low at 44 and a half cents. That's the current assumption that we finished that here, and that from here we then started obviously to move up um, in a wave one. Because what you would normally expect after such a triangle breaks that you break to the opposite side of the wave E, and the move into that direction will then be impulsive. In this case, it was an impulsive move to the upside in what I counted as a five wave move in a wave one. And we it looks like we're now coming down in a wave two correction. And we are basically maxing out currently the support area. I mean, a wave two generally can come down to the beginning of the wave one. So it could come down to 44 and a half cents, no problem. Um, however, the problem is always that as soon as it drops below the 78.6% retrace, it gets unreliable. And that is the level at 45 uh, 45.9 cents which is the 78.6 percent retrace which is the lower support of this box okay so this is the support area in which i expected the wave 2 to get into we did get into it but now it actually needs to reverse if we get a wick maybe to the 88.7 percent fib level not a problem but it should really start to reverse and if it doesn't then um and if we even make a low below 44.6 cents yeah so below the beginning of the wave one, what do I have to assume then? Well, all I can assume then is that the just is that the um, wave D was never finished, unfortunately. Yeah, um, this is obviously possible because we've never had a breakout above the B wave. That's always what I mention. You know, you get a first indication that something's changing and that the breakout is occurring when you break above the D wave, but real confirmation of a broken triangle, you won't get until you break above the B wave. So I remain of my view that we see here some short term upside, but the question is now, do we see it already now? And do we see a continuation of this five wave move to the upside and break the B wave high, which is at 54.7 cents or do we come down once more, you know, do we break the wave E low here at the 44 and a half cent level? Do we make a new low in a wave E then, in which, however, we would need to stay above the C wave low. That's always what we need to do in, a, in an E wave, stay above the C wave. So that would be at 42.1 cent. Um, but yeah, and then start the move up, yeah, because the higher level pattern would suggest further upside but there's no guarantee that it starts already now, right? It's likely, I think, um, but of course not guaranteed. Yeah, and this, the lower we go here, the less likely it obviously gets. So I'm watching this key level. Yeah, maybe even the 88.7% FIB level, but this is really where this um, price should turn around. I mean, if you take a look at the indicators here on the one hour, pretty much overboard now. Yeah, and you see a slight bullish divergence on the one hour. So it would suggest a possible turnaround. A bit too early to confirm that. On the four hour, we're not yet overbought, so we could drop a little bit lower. Yeah, just be aware of it. Uh, we haven't reached the 30 level. In previous lows, we bounced off the 30 level. So, okay, so here we have a bit more space for further downside. But on the one hour, as I said, we see that slight bullish divergence. So it could be that we're already turning around now. But we need to observe that. We need to observe those key support levels and the momentum is still declining on the four hour MACD, as you can see there. Okay, this is my quick update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.